Hey guys, welcome to another Dark and Light video. Today is going to be real exciting because we are doing another really, really awesome tame. And I'll tell you guys what it is. It is in this box. So, I've also got a bunch of other things to talk about because I'm not going to lie. Before this episode, I, been spent, I spent pretty much the last two days, like eight hours a day, kind of playing, grinding. I don't know. This game is... This game is really grown on me, I'm not going to lie. At this moment of playing, I don't know, it's something about this game that's super grown on me. But, kind of let's take a look at my work of grinding. I mean, of course, I got the usual, I got plenty of, uh, you know, stone or wood, and I used it for stuff. But, uh, let's take a look back in this box. We got a griffin saddle. And then I've got a bunch of other things we have to play with. So I made a bunch of uh, stone hook arrows, obviously, to take it down. And I've got these things, a craftable orb of entanglement. That is for a future um, tame. Or it can, I'm probably going to use it for this tame, too. But it practically just slows down the creature. But I'll show you guys that in action when it comes to that. But, uh, yeah, now, I know it's just kind of like a big skip of, oh, hey, I have a, the griffin saddle. But... I have to show you guys, it took a while to get there. I mean, I was level, I mean, I was in level 4, so I pretty much had to do the entire rank 7. Now, let's take, take a look at the materials. One, 180 mithril, it's a good amount. 450 hide, that's not a problem. The 220 iron, that's not really a problem. The twine isn't a problem. I might be looking at those blue orbs and say, like, what are those blue orbs? Well, those blue orbs come from tha thaumaturgy, whatever. It is the last rank, so I had to finish uh, whatever this is to get there. And I'll okay. So after that, I'll say, "All right, bam, got this done." Now what do I need? Well, I need those little light crystals. I need those magic bottles, which I have. And then I was looking. I need dark stone, and I've never gotten dark stone before. So real quickly, I'm gonna show you guys where I got it from. Okay, so let's hop on bad boy over here. Which, if the Griffin is really good. This guy's about to be replaced. But um, if you guys remember, I don't know if I took you there, but right below this island is Shipwreck Island. And it is the most dangerous in the game, in my opinion, the most dangerous place in the game. Uh, but I'll let you guys see for yourselves. We are here on the Shipwreck Island. Now, if you look below, uh, Reaper, Reaper, uh, those little things are mini skeletons. Oop, <laughs> everything's rendered in. Uh, yeah, well, it actually seems to be a low population of Reapers at the moment. But usually, there's Reapers absolutely everywhere. But if we go down here, and I don't think anything's here right now. And if we look at these rocks right here, I gotta get my pick out. These have Darkstone in them. So I, I pretty much, like, I googled it and then I came here. Now, I kind of found, like, a prime spot to get this. Like, pretty much this corner right here. There's not Reapers, basically. So, this is the best place to get uh, Dark Okay, guys. So, I think I got enough Dark Stone here. Another thing to point out is the music. The music here is by far my favorite in the game. Because, for some reason, it sounds like music from my favorite game of all time, Chrono Cross. I have no idea why. And of course, the light stone I usually get from up there, but there's also a little embankment of it inside of the river, right next to the elf town. So, so it's pretty accessible. So yeah, basically, I got the dark stone and all of that other stuff and made these orbs. Now, these things are not cheap. I don't care what you think. I, I was only able to make 25 after like 8 hours of grinding, of course, for other things too. Uh, but yeah. All of that put together, a couple hours of work, and bam, we got a single griffin saddle. So if I lose this, I'm going to cry. But um, yeah, we got the griffin saddle again. I made all of this. I unlocked the iron hammer. Um, here, I'll just put it here for now. Basically, I hear it's just pretty much like a, like a attack weapon. It's very, very slow, but deals a large amount of damage. I'm not going to play with it because I don't really care for it, to be honest. So I'm just going to stick it back in here. And then this entanglement trap, which I'll show you when we get the griffin today. Also, we've got a telescope. I completely forgot about this. Let's use this. I haven't used this yet. <clears throat> so let's see. If I pull it out. 
Oh, I don't want to attack with it. Okay, we can just look closer. Oh, we can, like, tell the levels. Okay, well, this might be actually useful for spotting a good griffin today, then. Okay, and guys, two more small things before we actually go and tame the griffin. Uh, I did do a little bit of expansion, so over here, I came by and I couldn't place, like, um, normal foundation. So I basically just used ceilings as floors with a little bit of foundation on the, under and I expanded this place. Also, um, one thing very important for almost all, everything that I did for all of this is magic shards. And I was having a hard time getting magic shards. So, of course, me, I googled like, hey, how do I get magic shards? And one very, very smart comment said the hayfields. And... I was like, okay, I might as well check it out. Luckily, it's literally at the bottom right of the map, which is right next to my base almost. You could, I could see it from here. So, in my opinion, from my experiences, this is the best place to get magic shards by far. You could either suck them out of trees, which will give you a little, well, it'll give you a good amount, or you can kind of just run around the, like, around the elves and bushes and stuff and you'll get a good amount but uh nothing compares to this hayfield not not by far because just the sheer amount kind of blows every other strategy out of the water so what i ended up doing is actually building a small base here uh this is like my base of operations here so for now let's place this now here before i land the one very very big thing about this place though is this place is deadly dangerous this place is a no-go if you're on early right just here there are like five meteor spawns there's a meteor spawn right there you can actually see there's already a skeleton there there's meteor spawn right in the middle there's meteor spawns all pretty much around there and there's wolves and goblins with sickles that make you bleed out that this 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 place isn't a joke. You can probably tell by all the dead animals on that side. But if we go a little lower because it's not. All of this is pretty much bushes. All of this. So basically, you know what? Here, I'll just land for a moment. Hopefully, I don't get attacked. If I bring out just my hand and I walk around. Oof, I didn't want to do that. And I just bring out my hand. Well, okay. Well, I'm not getting magic crystals now, of course. But Okay, so the game doesn't want to give me magic crystals. Right, come on okay there we go see i don't know why the game's not giving me magic crystals but you just do this for a while and you basically just collect magic crystals and after a while you'll have a couple hundred and then your once your inventory is full uh i'm gonna come over here to my base and then i'll show you guys kind of my base so after my inventory is full i come over here so i pretty much just have like a normal just giant wall around so nothing attacks i mean i have these little places where i could peek and i could even go out actually and even over there I can go out so now I first started th this fence right here is a natural structure I first just started out with pretty much these chests the problem is a couple Reapers came in and actually destroyed all my chests so I'm like okay so I need some foundation and of course I have a resurrection altar if I'm out there and a Reaper attacks me and I die I just spawn back here um, that's new music but here I'll show you guys what I've gotten so far so of course I took all the magic crystals out actually I'm not even using those chests yet but you can see this is from maybe a couple hours. I got a pretty much, like, a lot of wood, a good bit of stone, and I just got a lot of random stuff. Actually, I need to take these back with me. Um, but yeah. This is, you could say, my new magic shard, wood, and stone farm. Although the stone and wood, I'll just probably do at my base. Enough talking. It is time to tame that griffin. So let's head out. Oh, and guys... One quick thing that I want to show off, which I didn't even realize was possible. I, you can pick up stuff with the wyvern. I knew you could do this with some of the bigger creatures. I did not realize you could do it with the wyvern. Okay, guys. So, if we look over here, let's take a look at this bramble hopper. So, we get close enough. Yep. We can just kind of pick it up with our hind legs. And, uh, now, this can be used. And my, like, I literally just thought of this. I could probably tame sheep like this. I can kind of grab them and put them wherever I want. So I might use that. But yeah, you could even, I think you could damage them while they're in hand. At least that's what I saw in a video. But 
Um, I can go ahead and just kind of drop them. And then try to drop. Oop, can I drop with them? I wonder, do they take damage? Okay, so apparently animals just like have godlike reflexes and just don't take damage from that stuff. But, um, okay. Let's go ahead and get the griffin stuff ready. Oh, also, I replaced this trough with a stone trough, which is fairly simple. Okay, guys, we have our, uh, these orb of entanglements. We have our saddle. We have our arrows, our food. Yeah, and a bunch of, uh, bows. And, of course, the spying glass to kind of look at their levels. So, we're pretty much set. Real quickly, I kind of want to show you guys how the orb of entanglement works. It is an offhand, so you can't use it with a double-handed thing. But, let's just say, um, what do I have on this right now? Hopefully this doesn't kill it. So, let's say I hit this thing, right? Now it's angry at me, and it is super, super fast. If you just use this, bam. Okay, well, it's supposed... Yep, there you go. See, now it is super slow. It had to finish its charge attack, but it is super slow now. So that's basically all that it does. And, okay, these things are getting annoying, so you guys are going to have to die. Die. Okay. Now, is there one still alive? Nah, where are you going? He's the entangled one. All right. Let's go look for a griffin, and let's take that. Okay, guys, there's a level 6 wild griffin over there. I think that is going to be perfect, because we don't want something high-leveled, because I won't be able to take it down. It'll take too long to tame. So our first one will be low-leveled. Okay, now it's turning back. That is signs of high torpor. Up, oh, and it goes down. I need this thing to stay away from my... Oh, no. Is the griffin dead? Ah. <sighs> Griffin's dead. Of course the Griffin's dead. Man, I hate these rock. All the other elementals are not, like, mean. They don't aggro on anything. Of course, just the earth elementals are just so stupid. Alright, there's a Griffin down there fighting a rock elemental. Actually, there's two. Get rid of one of them. Oh, wow, they're both high leveled. Oh, that's gonna... Okay, so I'm going to have to get rid of... Actually, I want to get rid of the 50. But um, I don't know how I'm going to be able to because the 61 is right in front of it. Well, I guess I have to bait them on to another creature. Okay, good. Okay, so I guess let's start... Oh, why am I using... I don't know why that had those arrows on. All right, it's entangled. Now we just got to get enough arrows to put it down. Come on. Oh. Of course, one of you stupid things is to come out. Man, the creatures in this game are so annoying sometimes. Okay, let's run around here because I know there's no bad creatures here. And this one's a higher level griffin, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Okay, entangled again. This one's going to take a little bit longer to get down. And I'm going to have to protect it a bit more. But let's turn it back around. Alright, come on. Get down, buddy. Get down. Is he seriously not down yet? Let's entangle it again. Come on, man. Okay, I think it is about to fall down. 
Alright, come on, fall down, buddy, fall down. Oh no, where where's he going? He's gonna have to come back down though, right? Do these things come back down? Oh, okay. Okay, entangle again. Man. Is where is your torpor, man? There we go. Now it is down. And my thing broke. Let's place this thing right here. Start placing meat. Where did all my meat go? Okay, well, I'm going to have to go kill some things. But, man, my health. <laughs> my health took quite a toll on that. Now, uh, well, actually, I have some good source of meat on these kebos right here. But, man, I'm going to have to build, like, uh build like a place around this guy so he doesn't get killed first of all I'm gonna eliminate these goblins so they don't come around and mess anything up give me yours I'm gonna by the way I'm gonna need their gears for a future project buddy so I got this fella trapped right in here and I could even kinda of stand on top of his head to check what is going on but yeah we've got this guy nice and safe to my best of knowledge I'm going to be sitting in here for probably about the next hour, I'm guessing, maybe an hour or two. Okay, everybody, this griffin, very excitedly, is almost done. I think one more, and it's about there. And, guys, this took, there we go. This took way longer than expected my recording software says i'm going on four hours almost this this is about a three hour tame on the three times taming speed during this i had time to eat dinner watch like 20 30 youtube videos and like go out and drive to like a pokemon raid for pokemon go and like finish a raid and i've done it's pretty much an entire day's worth but wow we are finally <laughs> done with it. Now, where's my saddle? But it's a big boy. He has 520 weight. That's that's pretty big. Like, even me. I only, Okay, well, he has a bigger weight than me. So, that's perfect. Like, the Wavern, it has about half of mine. So, I could only carry about half my inventory. This guy will be able to carry exactly as much as me, basically, which is really, really good. Now, I just got to not get him killed because he took four hours. But, um, let's go ahead and demolish these walls to get them outside. Bam, bam, bam. The outside world. I haven't seen it for about four hours. Actually, wait, I got to get them. Oh, uh, okay. I guess I'll take a walk him outside. I got to get him his food. I don't, oh, okay. It's like, can I not get off of him? And I'm just going to leave this building here in case I have to use it for, like, some other weird purpose. But, uh, finally, guys, a griffin. This thing will probably be my main boy for flying for quite a bit. Let's get on him. Whoa. Okay. Okay, he's not super fast. And he, he's kind of a clunky flyer. I don't know if it's just me, but he seems like a very clunky flyer. But that might be just because I'm so used to, like, the Agile Wavern. Wyvern. Whatever. <laughs> at this point. But he's definitely... He's a pretty big guy. But I do... Like, he's, like, one of the coolest looking tames by far. Oof. That is some good stuff right there. Now, his stamina is pretty good, too. Because he... His stamina isn't going down that much. And, of course, I have a lot of things kind of, like, beefed up a little bit. So, obviously, like, stamina, taming speed... But I also see a meteor. Now I'm guessing these guys won't attack it. No, okay, good. There's a meteor over here. Might as well go get it with our new buddy. Now, he's a little bit glitchy. You can kind of tell uh, my face is kind of like bouncing. Where did that thing land? Okay, it did land over here. Okay. But yeah, this guy is a little bit clunky. Now, let's see. Can they kill? Ooh, that's level 47. I don't think he's... Oof. Okay, I got hit. Didn't take too much damage. Let's say that guard is no match for that 47 Wraith. Alright, let's see if we can bring our Wraith down to the... Man, he's just he's just going at it, man. Taking down these guys. 
All right, come on. Come over more near the town. Where'd he go? Where'd you go? Man, this guy is a pretty clunky flyer, though. Oh, he fell. What a dingus. Okay, whatever. Well, let's just go collect his meteorite. I was hoping to get the loot from his body, but you know what? That's fine. That basically leaves meteorite. Oh, oh where are you going? Where are you going? Sit, sit, sit. I forgot to take him off following. Okay, well, let's grab... Ah, oh, there's like nothing good in there. Then, of course, let's grab the dude's armor. This thing is always valuable, considering I just don't have to make armor. Okay, my dude. You? You have to stay. There we go. That armor is always valuable to collect, considering I just don't have to make my own, which is pretty good. And then the, and then the uh, civilian armor is not worth collecting. But, uh, wow. Okay. We finally have a big griffin, which is really cool. So, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll have kind of two tames for different purposes. This guy, I will definitely use for resource collecting. That is for sure. And then the wyvern, I'll probably use for fast travel because he's super, super fast. Although, I think they're the same speed. I'm just, like, over-exaggerating it. Why is there so many spiders around my base? Well, I guess we could test out his fighting ability and then okay so let's go up to them wham dead okay that's a that's actually that's a good amount of damage bam dead okay I, I like the damage I like the damage I mean it's not like super super powerful but bam that is pretty good and then let's of course I think did he get a level up he did no he didn't okay I'm hallucinating all right. Well, guys, that's pretty much the episode. The main point of this episode was to get this beautiful, beautiful creature. So let's, uh, let's land him down. Wham. And he lands so hard, but... Yeah, man, he's big, though. I mean, he's not, like, super big, but he's kind of... He just, like, feels clunky. All right, but let's... Like, I'm trying to get him, like, next to the wyvern or something, but... So we can just set him down right here. Yeah, he's definitely our coolest team so far. He's pretty big compared to uh, the wyvern. But guys, after four hours, I think I'm going to end off the episode here, guys. If you did enjoy, first of all, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a personal channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.